What's up, BNT fam? It's your boy CB with two left feet, but you know I'm backwards, but I never flip flop. And today I'm gonna be talking to y'all about the time when I knew college wasn't for me. See, Corey, let me tell y'all about Corey. This is not CB, this is Corey right here. This is Corey before CB even became, um, came about. So, Corey was this, he was a, he was a nice young man. He still is a nice young man, you know what I'm saying? And he graduated high school, but he really didn't have like a plan. He really didn't have a plan. Freshman year, he really didn't take it serious in, in high school. Freshman year in high school, he really didn't take it serious. Then sophomore year, the school brought in like this motivational speaker or whatever and it kind of like school the importance of school really started to click for Corey in late sophomore year junior year you know he was getting it together but it's still not all the way where it should be <coughs> excuse me it's still not all the way where it should be but he's get, he's getting there. Still doesn't have a plan for what he's gonna do after after high school. I guess Corey thought like maybe maybe high school will never. It's four years. It's four years. So it's like yo, is high school really gonna ever end? Then your senior year gets there, right? You hear everybody else signing into what colleges they're gonna go to. You got people applying to colleges, taking the SATs, ACTs, getting their scores ready to apply for college. Corey, he, he really didn't know what he wanted to do after high school. Man. It was like, it was tough. I was like, yo, do I? Like college, college was always like the words you, you hear people talking about. Yeah, I'm going to college, boom, boom, boom. Yeah, I'm going to do this in college, da, 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 da. But that never really like, kicked in the core in mind, like, I barely wanted to be in high school. Like, I'm like, is college really what I want to do? <clears throat> so, I graduate high school. I, Corey ends up going to a, a community college in, in Richmond, Virginia. J. Sarge Verona, shout out to everybody that ever went there, you know what I'm saying? Because it's always a brighter day. But, I went there, I'm in, I'm in college, and the vibe, the vibe is just, Ew, <laughs> the vibe is just not, it, it just don't feel right. Like you don't have to go to class. At high school it's like you had to go to class or they was gonna call your parents and stuff. You know what I'm saying? It was gonna be marked down and as tardies and absences and all that. But there is like, it's, it's absences in college, but it's like nobody's really checking like for you. Like if you're not there, you're not there. Like for real, for real, you know what I'm saying? So that kind of like got into Corey's brain, like, man, I don't even gotta go to school. Corey used to not go to school and go hang out with friends. You know what I'm saying? Like, I had class at eight o'clock in the morning some days. <clears throat> I got up, I act like I was going to class, but I went and hung out with my friends. I'm like, man, this college ain't for me. Like, I, First, it, it all started off like, oh, I'm just missing this one day. I'm gonna miss one day, you know what I'm saying? It's no big deal, I'm gonna miss one day. Boom, go back. But that one day that I missed turned into two days. I'm not really taking it serious until I got that, that, that letter. Uh, what, what was it, academic probation or whatever it was? I didn't even know you could get that in community college. I, was, I wasn't taking this serious. It was like my mind wasn't in college. I, I didn't want to, I didn't really want to be there. Like I knew it wasn't for me when I first walked through the door. I was waiting on you at the door. Like when I walked through the door, I knew it wasn't for me. You know what I'm saying? So I'm wasting time, money, you know what I'm saying? Energy at this point for no reason. I could have just simply got me a, a job but I, I did have like a part-time job, you know what I'm saying? And that was kind of hard to balance, too, going to school and having a, a, a job at the time. 
it was kind of tough because like when I tried to get homework done, it was like man, I had to be at work and I didn't get off work until 10.30, sometimes 11 o'clock at night. Then by the time you get home, you got to get ready for this 8 a.m. You know what I mean? It's like, damn, like, when do I have time to, to do homework? Like, is this, is this really like what life's supposed to be? <clears throat> I wasn't mature enough in the mind to realize what, what was going on in my life. But college, college really wasn't for me. Like, I was there and I used to sit in the back of the class in some of my classes. It was one class, it was like a math class I was taking and I sat in the front. I love math, so I, I sat in the front because I felt confident. But in my other class, I sat in the back. I was like, man, I would, you know how you can just get up and leave in college? I would get up and leave out the class sometimes like, and not come back. It was just so uncomfortable. I don't know what it was. I was just, I, it was an urge that was in me. It was like, yo, this is not for you. Like, well, at least right now, like the young me after I graduated uh, high school, like everybody isn't meant to go to college right after high school. It is, it's, it's, it, it, society may make you think that, yeah, you're supposed to go, hey, after you graduate high, graduate high school, go straight to college. For some people, it's really not like that. School isn't for everybody. And I'm not saying that for people to use as an excuse to not go to school. But at a certain point in your life, if you know you're not mature to handle like a setting, maybe it's not for you at that time. And I feel like people should adventure into other things that's beneficial to them and whoever they have, like family members that depend on them. You know what I'm saying? Like maybe you should get your degree later when you got the right mindset, when you got the right mentality to, to, to go to class without nobody telling you to to wake up on time and do what you got to do for the class you know what i'm saying like <clears throat> i wasn't there yet i was still thinking like yo this high school you know what i'm saying like ooh, i'm leaving now i could i could drive i got a car i can just swerve if i want to swerve this goes out to all my young people man look if you're in high school right now and you barely like being in high school and you think that you know what i'm saying <clears throat> You, you you have to go to college, like, as soon as you graduate. You really don't have to. I suggest that you get you a job for you can have some money coming in, you know what I'm saying? Everybody needs some money. Get you a job so you can have some money coming in. Then, while working that job, you will see, like, what, what interests you, like, like, the days you got off, you can plot on different things that you want to do with your life. And then take those things that you want to do and compare them to curriculums that they have in college that you could, you could, uh, you could go take and use to better yourself. That's, that's just my personal opinion. But I knew college wasn't for me at the time when I graduated high school. It was like, I was I was really wasting time and money. And college really costs money, yo. It's not free, it's not cheap. Don't waste nobody's time, money, and energy if you know it's really not for you. Please, please don't do it. Once you waste money, you, you can't get that back. It's non-refundable, you feel me? Like, don't waste all that money, man. Like, save that money. Go, go do something else with your time until you have the right mindset to go to school and do what you have to do in school to succeed. And I'm and that's going to be the end of this video, man. Hey, I love y'all. I want to see y'all do nothing but the best. I want nothing but positive vibes and energy throughout the world. <laughs>